Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, lots of stuff going on here recently. Um, hope everyone had a great holiday. Um, welcome to 2023. Um, we're going to do a video today on the cutting board slash stovetop cover um, for a customer. I'm going to be using a couple of products in here. I think I'm also going to do a review on um, after this video as well. I've got a thin rip jig um, that I purchased from actually a, a place pretty local to me. And then I've got the Jessam uh, stock guides. I've already installed them on my table saw, so you will see them being used. Um, I'm gonna do a little review on them later on. Everything's still kind of in a disarray uh, a little bit. Um, I did get my wood racks put up. I did get my miter saw station built. I ran part of my dust collection. Um, still got so much to do, but stick around. It's going to be fun. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is get all my boards cut down to their rough final length. We're going to go with some maple, walnut, paduke, as well as a couple of pieces of leopard wood that I'm going to put, I think, in the middle, but I'm really not sure. Next thing we're going to do is head over to the uh, jointer. I've got a new jointer. I've got the Shop Fox. This is the 8 inch um, 220 volt. Um, I did not get the helical head, unfortunately, but it's still a great machine. It's got the 6 foot bed, so I'm able to joint longer pieces if need be. I'm basically going to get these surfaced on one face, turn them up and get them surfaced on an edge so that they are square and then take them over to the table saw and start ripping them down into inch and a half strips. The final thickness of this board is going to be about an inch and a quarter. So I wanted a little bit to play with because I'm going to glue it up in two different sections and then run it through the planer. And you can see here I've got my Jessam stock guide set up. I will say I plan on doing a review of these later but they are great. They keep the, the stock up against the fence very very nicely and I don't have to worry as much about letting it slip off. But like I said here, we're going to rip these down into uh, inch and a half strips. Um, using this new bow uh, push stick that I got um, a few weeks ago, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. It um, does a really good job. certainly helps to use it when you're using these stock guides with smaller material. So you don't have uh, enough room to get in my gripper, what I typically use with a table saw. One thing I will note is you can see the riving knife actually almost touching the, the stock guide. That was a little bit of an issue uh, when I was so close to the, the actual blade with my material. So if you're cutting anything an inch and a half or smaller, keep that in mind. So this is another product I got from a company local to me, close to Atlanta. Um, it's the Thin Rip Jig, and it allows me to rip the same 
size strip over and over by simply just moving my fence over each time instead of having to move everything or use some other form of a jig. It actually works pretty good and being able to use it in conjunction with the stock guides turned out really well on doing repeatable strips. I'll definitely leave a link in the description. Now I'm just trying to really sort out what kind of a pattern that I wanted. This took quite a bit of time and even in the end, uh, for those of you who are paying attention closely, you'll notice that what I come up with here is not what is actually in the finished product. So due to still having stuff not yet put in my new shop, we had to move outside for a couple of different things. This one being the drum sander. The other one I didn't get on film actually was uh, running everything through the planer. Uh, but we also had to do it outside. I don't have the dust collection run to the side of my shop that those two uh, tools are on. And I don't have a way to hook them up that it's not a pain in having to move everything around on the other side so for now we'll just make a trip outside when we have to do either one of these so this is going to be the first of several blue ups just by nature of the way this is designed. It's going over a gas stove that has about a two and a half inch clearance. So I'm going to have to do several different glue ups. My planer is a 13 inch planer, so I have to keep it to that on each one of the glue ups. So the very last one, of course, I have to work it out with the sander and try to get it as flush as I possibly can. I also cut a few extra boards and put it to the side because I think I'm going to end up having to make this just a little wider and I would like to put a design towards the what will be the front of it and you'll see that a little bit later when I glue those few pieces up together and attach them as well. Something else I did a little different in this video is, if you notice, there's not really any music playing. Um, not that it matters. I, I keep getting copyright claims because I'm using the stock music, which of course is okay to use on YouTube. But um, Also, I did it to see what everyone thought. So if you don't care, leave a comment um, whether you think I should continue to do music or you just want to hear the, the workings going on in the shop uh, during the intervals. I got a scrap piece of wood there, if you saw, where I just kind of had to beat everything down to make sure we were as flush as possible. Uh, try to wipe up some of the excess glue. I'll set it over here to the side to dry. And here you'll be able to see the two different sections I glued up. I'm gonna get those scraped off as much as I can before running them through the planer and again I did not get that on camera. Now we're going to do the final glue up um, as far as these two panels go. 
you can see the leopard wood I decided to use there right in the center. Those are the only two strips of it I used. I just used some small F clamps just to try to keep that as flush as possible. While that was drying, I went ahead and cut down my end, or I guess my front and back pieces that's going to elevate uh, the board above the stove. One of them um, is about five eighths of an inch smaller than the other one, the one that goes to the front, um, just because of the way the stove is made. This is what I explained earlier. This is those extra few strips. I'm going to make the board um, a little bit wider, and I wanted to put this little design also towards the front of the board. And then keep in mind, the board will also have two additional roughly three quarter inch strips that will be the uh, legs, so to speak, for the front and the back to hold it up um, above the stove eyes. The board overall is going to be right about 25 and a quarter inches across along the strips and right at 23 inches from front to back. To square this thing up, I'm going to use my Festool track saw. And I did make a purchase from Whitworks on this little cover right here. Um, makes great when it comes to keeping down dust in the shop. I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description. And this coming up is pretty much everybody's favorite part, I think, of cutting boards. I know it's mine. Just getting to see what the final product's going to look like once it gets some uh, mineral oil on it. The front that I did with the CNC, you'll see here in just a second, I actually did it with a uh, another oil, not mineral oil. But it's not going to be used. But this is what it ended up looking like. I am pretty happy with it. Okay, we got this project done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, there was a couple of things I left out of the video, mainly the uh, end pieces that lift the uh, cutting board up over top of the stove top so it can be a cover as well. Um, cut that out on the CNC. That's what that looks like. Um, Left it out mainly because I needed to hurry up and get this finished and get it to the customer. They've been very patient uh, while I filmed this. And also, I didn't want to get all the bad words, but I would say learning the CNC machine to get that taken care of. Anyway, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and share this video, and come back and see us next time. Take care.